Hey, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we set up specific monitor settings, so specific resolutions, specific frame rates, and specific uh, refresh rates. Now, when you get a non-Apple monitor, so the monitor that's not on your iMac or built into your laptop, you may find that you can't find the specific settings as they're advertised on that particular monitor, so sometimes the refresh rate of 60 hertz doesn't seem to be available, but we're gonna dig deep into the system preferences of Mac OS X and take a look at how we can get exactly the settings that we want when we're working with that specific monitor on Mac OS X. So I did an unboxing a little while ago of a Philips uh, monitor. I'll leave the link below, but basically when you set that monitor up, in order to access some of the settings for that monitor, you need to be able to go into the system preferences to change some settings. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a look at the refresh rate for the monitor as it's set up with a default setting. So go into the Apple menu, system preferences, and into the display settings down here. And once we're in here, we're going to just kind of leave this as is for the moment. We'll kind of come back to this in a second. So if we come to this website, testufo.com, Basically, it will do a test of your monitor, check the frame rate, check the refresh rate, and a few other different things as well here. So you can see for this particular monitor, if I refresh it, it is refreshing at 30 frames per second, 30 hertz, which is not the maximum refresh rate um, for this particular monitor. So if we go back to our system preferences, you can see in here, if we go to scaled on the default settings, all we can see are these kind of different smaller and larger text options on the Mac OS X system preferences menu. In order to access some more information about this, we need to hold down the option key on the keyboard and then tap scaled. And that will bring up this wider range of settings so we can go right up to the full 4K resolution for this monitor, which I find for me is way too high resolution. Um, just for reading things on screen, the interface Final Cut Pro 10 becomes too small. And so actually what I tend to do, although let's just uh, do this refresh. You can see now we're still getting that 30 frames per second, 30 hertz refresh rate on screen. So we'll come back to our system preferences. What we need to do here is actually check this show resolution modes. And what that will do is show us the options for our resolution. And modes. the resolution I like to work at is this 2560 by 1440 option which still doesn't give us uh, the 60 hertz refresh rate here. So I'm gonna change this to the 2560 by 1440 low resolution option. And now you'll see that we get this other option here. So we can change the refresh rate here to 60 hertz. It's that higher refresh rate. So you can see now at 2560 by 1440, we're able to get that 60 frames a second and 60 hertz refresh rate by diving in to these scaled options and then into the resolution modes as well. So it's not playing at 60 frames a second at 4K, but we have to drop down to this kind of lower resolution version of the 2560 by 1440 option, which for me is working great. I'm able to work in Final Cut Pro 10 and also able to get that kind of higher refresh rate, which is important in some video editing scenarios. So hopefully this is useful. If you wanna change the refresh rate or get that refresh rate of your monitor up to 60 Hertz, there's a little bit of digging in the options there. Um, hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, then leave them below. Check out the monitor that I'm using um, in the link below. And otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.